When Conor McGregor left court the other day, he had his face covered up with his hand, had that hoodie on. Not because it's so fucking freezing cold. Look at that guy. It's because Conor McGregor sending a message to the mob. You know, Conor McGregor admires a guy named something like the General Cahill. Anyway, he's a famous mobster. And he used to cover his face up like that when it, whenever they'd come around with cameras. He didn't you know, want people taking a picture of him. And Conor McGregor admired that mobster. Conor McGregor attended that mobster's funeral. <laughs> Conor McGregor, okay, got in a fight. Dick Ryder said he was defending his friend. No, he wasn't. It wasn't just a coincidence that the guy Conor McGregor punched was affiliated with the mafia. Conor McGregor is here to take over, right? It's a fucking turf war. It's what it is. You know, Conor McGregor's driving away. Driving away from the courthouse. Somebody asked him some shit. He could have just kept on going. No, Conor McGregor rolls his window down. And he screams two times, come and get me. Come and get me. It's a fucking turf war. Conor McGregor thinks he's untouchable. He's got bodyguards and all this horse shit. You know what I mean? Anyway, the guy that's imitating his name. Martin the General Cahill. Okay, and he's uh, an Irish mobster that Conor McGregor, that Conor McGregor admires. Conor McGregor attended this guy's funeral too. The Irish mob, when these people die, there's there's uh, gaps and hope, you know, other people step in. Look at this, John the Coach. See this in that in early 1993, John, John the Coach. Now Conor McGregor's. Coach is named John Cavanaugh. Okay, so look at this. John the coach trainer. Okay, and there was another guy involved in all this shit called Jojo Cavanaugh. Suppose there's a, a relation to John Cavanaugh. Sure there is. It's like Conor McGregor was at his fucking funeral. Sure there is. Absolutely. See that? Cavanaugh then drove See that? Bunch of fucking criminals. Bunch of fucking criminals. Anyway, this guy that Conor McGregor admires was returning a a game or a DVD, Delta Force 3, the killing game. Somebody just pulled up on a motor, jumped off a motorcycle or whatever, and shot him in the face with a 357 Magnum <laughs> revolver and disappeared. That could happen to Conor McGregor. <laughs> that shit could happen to Conor McGregor. Just pulled up and shot him in the face. Just shoot him in the face with a 357. <laughs> Another guy was collecting freaks evidence on this guy, Cahill. So he just blew his damn car up. That could happen to Conor McGregor. He could blow his damn car up. <laughs> just blow Conor McGregor, you know. Conor McGregor, who he's dealing with, he's putting his family in danger. If Conor McGregor cared about his family, he wouldn't be putting his family in danger. Conor McGregor don't care about his family. Look at Conor McGregor, off of this, uh, off of this woman right here. Stayed out all night doing cocaine, okay, drinking. Look at Conor McGregor, what's he doing out there? Look at Conor McGregor, yeehaw, driving down the road, drinking, drinking, drinking. See him rubbing his nose. You know when Conor McGregor fought Nate Diaz, he comes out there, fuck you, Nate Diaz, and fuck you, blah blah blah. He's rubbing his nose. He's, on, he's geeked out of his mind right there. They go back and watch it. Here's Conor McGregor a couple of weeks ago in the club. Throwing, you know, throwing punches. Here he is attacking a referee. Conor McGregor's on drugs. Big time. The crumbling feud. There's, there's a feud going on. Okay, it started back in 2000. And that's been happening every, you know, every, every year or two. Some guys fucking, you know, die. And there's gaps left in the, uh, to be filled. How, you know, leadership positions to be filled. Conor McGregor's taking over. Conor McGregor and his friends are taking over. Doubling few timeline of gangland murders. Conor McGregor's right in the middle of this shit. Y'all see him in the clubs, right in the middle of everything, right? A violent feud between, between two rival gangs is what it is. Conor McGregor's right in the middle of a violent fucking feud. He's trying to take over with his money. He said, I'm not scared of your, you know. But, but he's place, placing Dave Devlin in that baby. 
in danger because these people, Colonel McGregor, know who he's dealing with. These fuckers dressed up, okay, like fucking policemen. Go into a fucking weigh-in and spray the place with an AK-47. Okay, that's the kind of people that Conor McGregor's fucking with. Yeehaw! Come and get me. Come and get me. Come and get me. See? That's how that guy Cahill did. There's that guy Cahill right there, see? That's how he did. Set, set Mickey Mouse on his shirt. He even looks like Conor McGregor. <laughs> looks like it says McNugget Tate on it. See, there's Conor McGregor. It's that guy. Conor McGregor's imitating that guy. Conor McGregor went to that guy's funeral. There's that guy again. See? There he is right there. With the Mickey. With the Conor McGregor on his shirt. <laughs> Looks like Conor McNugget. Anyway. Conor McGregor attends funeral of Irish gangster. Paul Kavanaugh takes photos with mourners. See? John Kavanaugh. All tied in. So I'll tie it in with the mob. Conor McGregor's in the mob. Conor McGregor's the one's mourners. It's gun, dicked, and buried. So he, he's going to these. Isn't it just ironic? Isn't it just weird that Conor McGregor will go to mobsters' funerals and take selfies with them? Here's another one. Conor McGregor and slain gangster David Byrne had only a club relationship. So they, they, they're going to make sure that they only were friends in the club, a.k.a. the distance Conor McGregor, from any affiliation. Yes, sir, Conor McGregor allegedly involved in bar and brawl. With Irish mafia figures, people say, the reason he was in that fight, he was defending a friend. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. Conor McGregor is in the middle of a turf war with mafia. Conor McGregor is dealing in some place he shouldn't be dealing with. Okay. Cocaine. Ecstasy. All this trash is going on. Okay. In these clubs. Conor McGregor is a clubber. Y'all heard Daniel Cormier make an allusion to the things Conor McGregor's doing. That's what he's doing. It's exactly what Conor McGregor is doing. He's doing these things. Mm -hmm. It's stretching from Spain, all these people involved. The Kavanaugh's, Conor McGregor going to their fucking funeral. All this shit put two and two, two together, motherfuckers. What the fuck? Y'all stupid as fuck? Conor McGregor's in the fucking mob.